is going on? Welcome back to Cooking with Bird Martinez, the one, the only Bird Motherfucking Dinez, bitch. What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing good in the motherfucking neighborhood. I hope you guys are in peace. You know what I'm saying? Ahorita que estamos en la casa, that you guys are with your family, please enjoy each other. I know you motherfuckers are used to working and shit and, you know, being out there and doing your thing, but just just feel like, just pretend it's the same shit, but at home. Like your your este, your family is your co-workers. Porque don't, I just don't want people to start feeling, como se dice? Like when you're home, te enfadas, bored or whatever. You know, try to stay happy for that ass. Because to me, this shit is normal. I stay home all the time with my family. Why the fuck am I missing a little bit of eyebrow? The fuck? So I changed my eyebrow thing, right? Because I had my, um, the one that I use, parece que me la moche. The one that I use, este, Sofia lost it. And I haven't been able to go to the damn store because it's closed, the, the makeup store. So I have to do what I gotta do, Scooby-Doo. Sofia, tráeme la de esa para mi eyebrow. So now I use this bitch right here, but it sucks ass porque mira, se me, se me quitó. With the other one, I would always talk, scream, jump, whatever, and they wouldn't take off. I don't like this shit, but whatever. We gotta do what we gotta do. See, my eyebrows be suffering through this bitch. But see, it's okay. We'll get through this motherfucker. I'm used to staying home anyways. But anyways, motherfuckers, let's get into the motherfucking remix. I want to give my little shout-outs. Um... Shout out to Debbie Tobar from San Diego. Your niece told me that you rock with me. You know what I'm saying? And that she loves you. And thank you so much. I'm sending you a big fat hug. Oh, no, since I'm skinny, a big skinny hug. When you hug me, you could feel all my bones. It's kind of it's kinda weird. Or when I sit on people's laps, my butt is all bony. I mean, it's because it's squishy. Like, it's that squishy? So you could feel the like the butt right here, but then the, the vessel. So if you I sit on somebody, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really, really know. Too much information. Also, um, shout out to Nessie Vega from Denver, Colorado. What the fuck is up? Um, your birthday's on March 28th. I wrote down my notes, pero estoy bien pendeja. Anyways, thank you for rocking with me. I appreciate it. Y también somebody else. Ashley, shout out to Ashley. She sent me some money, and she said, shout, um, in the message, it said, keep kicking ass. My family loves you. Thank you so much. Shout out to your family. Thank you for the motherfucking love. I appreciate it. But anyways, bitch. So you guys know I'm doing my little raffle for the, the rifa, the raffle, for the molcajete. And I told you guys that I was going to give you guys a number, because last time... Somebody didn't pay, me hicieron pendeja, and this time, this, and I don't want to fuck it all up. So, Darling Garcia, Mark Medalla, and Don Gomez, Don Gomez and Carly, Carly Calloway, I didn't email you back because it didn't have an email. So, if you could email me, para que I could reply, respond to you guys, and give you guys your number, you know what I'm saying? Because we want to do sh this shit right. Anyways, we are doing a molcajete raffle. What that is is that um you pay ten dollars and we do the molcajete raffle first place wins the molcajete um limones and salsa second place wins limones and third place wins salsa no al revés you guys get the fucking point there's gonna be three winners that's all i know but anyways motherfuckers so um today this morning some girl she snapchatted me and she said bird um do you have a mo um, guacamole? Why my boob look big? Do you have a guacamole, guacamole este recipe? And bitch, I could have sworn I did. Guacamole is live. I really thought I had a fucking recipe for that bitch. I'm like looking and looking and looking. I'm like, what the fuck? Because I wanted to send it to her. You know, no más tengo dos a carne asada, but I don't have a recipe for just guacamole. Like people um, look up recipe for how to make guacamole than me. None of that. I don't have one. I couldn't believe it. I was like. <coughs> my goodness, estoy muriendo. No es cierto, no me estoy muriendo. But anyways, motherfuckers, wash those hands, wash that ass. 
You guys know the fucking drill. I've been telling you motherfuckers to wash your hands and wash your ass. Pero no. Nobody wants to listen to me. Porque I'm ratchet. Porque I'm ghetto. Pero mira, les dije. Anyways, motherfuckers. For guacamole, of course, my little horse, you know the drill. We are going to need avocados. I walk at this for that ass. And no, don't get the avocados that are like hard. Get the ones that are loosey. Like that pussy. You know what I'm saying? Porque esos son los que están ready. Estamos ready. Tú sabes, chica. Tú sabes lo que estoy hablando. Okay. So we're going to use some aguacates. Calm down, Erika. Calm down. We're going to use some tomatoes. Four tomatoes for aguacates. Of course, my little horse. We're gonna use some cilantro because cilantro is life. Y ahí se un pinche desmadre, como siempre, como siempre. <clears throat> also, we're gonna use some chile serrano. There's a red one in there. Este, if you like your shit hot, use like six. Why are they little? These are not serrano. Are they serrano? They look a little different. I bought them from the cucaracha, but they look kind of funny. Um. If you like them like good, like flavorful, or, like not hot, use two, three. Baby Mart is going crazy over there. That motherfucker is crazy. We're gonna use some onion, two garlic cloves for that ass, and we, what else, what else? Salt and pepper. Oh, and I forgot. Some limoncito. Ay, como me duele, como me duele. Como me duele cuando te sacan a bala, que te saquen a pasear, que te saquen terere, terere, me duele la pinche garganta. Voy a morir, güey, voy a morir. Cuando yo me muera, no quiero que lloren. Hagan una fiesta con cuetes y flores. Y si muero lejos del amor que quiero, manden una carta que venga enseguida para que me bese como despedida. Something, something, something. Con la tierra encima. Wait. See, I'm dying. I'm telling you. I'm just, I'm just really hyper. But my, um, ¿Cómo se dice? I feel like I couldn't breathe a little bit. I don't know why. Maybe I am dying. Who knows? So let's get into it, bitch. ¿Qué más les iba a decir? No sé. Let's get into this, bitch. Let me wash my hands. Tia's gonna help me, um, cut the cilantro. Cut the cilantro. Tengo que pensar, yo, you're so smart. You're so trusha with the carrusha. Um, but she wants to sit down. I told her, stand over here with me. No, no quiero ir a sentarse. <laughs> Tengo un pedacito de cilantro. Ok, pues cortalo, pero finito, ok? Yeah. She's right there cutting it up. She said she wanted to go with her to sit down, but I guess. Uh, be careful with your fingers, mama. I will. Promise? Promise. Bitch, let's get into it. So I know people like to este, get all fancy with um, aguacate and shit, like put este piña and mango and wooty woo woo. But to me, my all time favorite este, guacamole has been the original, the original with just the basic um, freshness. It's the tomato, cilantro, and onion. But if you want to remix it to the remix mix, then do what you do. You know what I'm saying? Pero para mí, un pinche guacamole acaba. Californiano, nomás tiene tomatito and shit. I love me some tomato. Mandy was asking me, why is tomato Roma called tomato Roma? And I said, porque I said, there was this guy that didn't have nothing else to do and said, that is going to be called Roma. That's what my uncle used to say. I would, I would ask him, hey, uncle, who invented the telephone? And he would be like, oh, es que un güey no tenía nada que hacer, so inventó el teléfono. Oh, there was a guy who didn't have nothing to do, so I meant to the phone. It was the dumbest thing, but I, it would always make me laugh. ¿Qué están haciendo, cabrones? So, Mario's home. Yes. Beautiful thing. Because he's always working. ¿Qué pasó? Um, I love you. I love you, too. But anyways, he's even working through all this bullshit. I want to tell everybody. All the people working right now. I stay in the grocery stores, in the motherfucking everything. ¿Qué está pasando? Okay. <laughs> For the commotion, my siblings just got here. I see my sister Julia, Angelica, and Jesus. But I, I was asking them what's going on because I'm over here making the damn video. Y están esos cabrones ahí making noise y dice que está pasando. Motherfuckers, so my siblings are here. That's why um I had all this noise going on. But here are the tomates. I cut them up. 
I'm gonna cut up the, este, ¿cómo se llama esta madre? Garlic cloves. So what I do, I smash them shits right here like that. And then I just go like that. Or you could put them in the processor. Whatever the fuck you want. I'm gonna add three. Pero you could add less. You could just add one if you don't like garlic. Because I know a lot of you motherfuckers don't like garlic. I love garlic. Because not only is it good for that ass, but it's good for your nails. What else is it good for? Do you guys know what else it's good for? I don't know. My mama just told me that it's good for me. I think it's good for your heart. If you don't want a big ass piece of garlic, este, don't, don't do it like this. Or just don't add garlic at all. This is my little, my little twist, this twist. Porque you guys know que me encanta el pinche garlic con todo. Con todo morocho. I don't know, there's a word that my dad used to say a lot. Con todo morono. That's the thing about us Mexicans. We have a lot of fucking sayings. For everything, there's a motherfucking saying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Add that to the remix. To the remix mix. Y ahora sí. We're gonna do, do the chilitos. If you don't want them to be hot, take out the seeds. You know what I'm saying? Porque luego se pone me voy a ver picoso si los te vas a dar el colo. So, just be careful. Be careful with your fingers también. Let me wash my hands. They're kind of sticky. Because of the damn garlic. Como que se ponen sticky. No sé cómo. And then, we're going to go this way. Oh, this bitch smells like chili. Mm -hmm. It's going to be muy caliente, much caliente. So that's why I'm going to be careful. Guys. 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 So guess what? So you guys know that I've been, I've talked about the family. Woo -woo -woo. So I guess motherfuckers mad. Like, oh, why does Erica have to talk about the family? Bitch, suck a dick. I could talk about whatever the fuck I want. I just won't say, say names. And if your ass gets offended, it's because, you know, algo, like, tienes cola que te arrastre, bitch. So, you guys know that Mario has a, a, a uncle that passed away. And the uncle told the wife, oh, don't worry. If I die, move on. But before he died, I guess she had an affair. And the same guy that she had an affair with is this guy that she's with now. So the whole family making a whole thing about it. And I guess she was like, oh, Eric is talking shit about me. But you know what? I actually defended you when everybody was talking shit. I was saying, oh, well, let her live her life. I mean, she was a good wife when, when he, well, when he died, she was a good wife. And she did all she could do. So I don't know what the fuck, um, why the family is mad. It's like. Ya pasó lo que pasó, pasó. Tienen que vivir. We have this one motherfucking ass life. So the onion, I'm only going to use half. Now we're going to add the chile. And the onion and the other chile to the remix. Mira que nada. I just love the colors, bro. I really love the colors, how they look. They're so pretty. And we're going to add the cilantro. I know people probably have other better ways to make the aguacate, the guacamole. But this is how I learned. So there was this waitress. We went to this damn restaurant when I was like, I don't know, maybe 19. And there was a girl. And she was really, 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 really pretty. And she was doing the guacamole in front of us. And I just started, like, watching her. And I paid attention. And that's how I learned. You know, she was her thing. She was doing her thing or whatever. And we were, like, with a bunch of people. And she was showing how she does the guacamole. And this fucking bitch, this puta bitch, I think she was just jealous because everybody was paying, paying attention to her was like, excuse me, can you give me some salt? The salt was right there. So the girl stopped doing her thing to give this bitch the salt. Like, I don't know, I just feel like there's some people in this world that just wanna make people feel like lower than them. But I was like, bitch, it don't matter if the waitress, you know, have to give you the salt in the middle of her thing. You're still ugly, you have an ugly ass fucking soul. And um, yeah, just saying that, you know what she did. So fuck that, fuck these perras that are jealous of other girls. The girl was pretty and she showed me how to make guacamole. So thank you, girlfriend. Even though you don't know. But I watched you from afar. And I was admiring it. I don't know why some girls, they can't, like, be around other girls. Like, they think they have to be, like, the prettiest girl. 
o si no, like they get all jealous and start being catty and shit. People always think that about me because they um, I haven't gotten along with my my brothers' girlfriends or exes. That we say that I'm jealous of them, but bitch, first of all, I am not a jealous type. Only with my chorizo. I mean, yes, I don't like girls getting close to my husband. But I'm not like, oh, you can't talk to him. I just don't like when bitches be doing the most, you know? Tampoco no soy una pendeja. But I've never been jealous. I actually try to be their friends. Pero they just, you know. Imagine, I told one of them, I could teach you how to cook. That's how cool I was with her. And she rolled her fucking eyes. So fuck that. People don't like me because they don't like me. But anyways, we're going to put that guacate that is look how pretty the color of the green gold is that's what they call it green gold my sister she loves guacamole so she's gonna enjoy this maybe i'll try to come out in the video but she's kind of like not she doesn't like the camera but she's really pretty my sister she she was born um um with black 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 jet black hair I would maybe one day I'll show you guys her picture I'll put it on my Instagram so my sister Julia she's the one that I grew up with like it was just me her my mom my dad left when um when my mom was pregnant of her so she never had a dad I had a dad for five years but my little sister she didn't and um but I tell her not to hate him fuck him we're better off and she's just like you know, she was she wanted to to um, forgive him. So she wrote to him on Facebook and she said, "Oh yeah, I forgive you. I don't have hate in my heart." And my dad he replied a year later because the motherfucker didn't have a phone. And um, he said, "Oh, you know what, um, Julia, um, we we all have our you know issues. We all have made mistakes." Whatever, whatever, and then practically saying, I don't need you at nobody, only my Jesus Christ. So my sister sent that text to me and she told me, What did that mean? And I was like, He's just saying, like, he's not perfect or whatever. And then he's saying that, like, he's not gonna kneel at you, like, he's not gonna ask for forgiveness. Fuck him, you don't need his forgiveness. You forgave him, you know. I don't know what the fuck he was talking about. You don't need his, um, him. Him to tell you to forgive you. That he forgives you. But I guess she was trying to reach out, but I guess he was too macho man. No me a nadie. Ah, pinche perro desgraciado. Todavía que he didn't raise us. He didn't raise us. Todavía he has that audacity to talk shit. Hell no. So anyways, if you go like that, the seeds won't fall. Forgot that part. It's because some of these lemons that I have, they don't have seeds, but some of them do. I don't know. Isn't that weird? How does that even work? So you go up and then you put them down. I learned that trick from somebody on YouTube in the comments. Isn't that cool? My sister was, I was telling my sister how I always listen to the people when they give me some advice. Like um, a girl, she said in my DM, she told me that to not talk about sexual stuff in front of Sophia, and I didn't get offended. I said, oh, okay, I'll, I'll tone it down. It's just that me and her were very, like, outspoken together. But I understand. Sometimes me paso de verga. We put, I put a lot of lemon on my guacamole. I just love that shit. It smells so fucking good. It smells amaze, 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 balls, bitch. Hasta hoja le voy a echar. Okay, so after that, we're just gonna remix it to the remix mix, and you smash it up a little bit. You could either smash it up a lot, but I like my chunky chunks, so that's why. If you put too much tomato, it gets watery. I've done it before. Why put way too damn much? Este, ¿cómo se llama? Tomate. Now we're gonna add the salt. If you like a lot of salt, if you like a little bit of salt, it's up to you, Scooby-Doo. This is also healthy for you. Okay, you just get some chips or whatever. You can put this in your fucking butthole. Not that bueno. And put 
black pepper because black pepper is right. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. Making some to to topos, topopos. I don't know. I don't really, really know, but I just know that they're called like that. It's like, um, like nachos or fried tortilla. I don't know. The one that they give at the restaurants every time you go, especially at those este, white Mexican restaurants, they always give chips. That's, and that's my favorite. I love the chips. I could just go to the restaurant and eat chips and not even eat food. Because I get full fast. Mm -hmm. So I already told Mandy to make sure that when I die, I have lipstick on. I better have some motherfucking lipstick on because I feel naked without my lipstick on. And also I need a hoodie and some sweats just in case. You know, I already told you guys. I'm thinking I'm going to go to heaven, but what if I go to hell? Or is heaven cold? Isn't heaven supposed to be perfect or whatever? Here, ya acabamos the topopos or chips. I don't know where the fuck you want to call them. And the guacamole. Ahí está. Ya está listo. I'm just going to add a little bit of salt. No mucha porque luego se van a morir. Mucha sal es mala para el... Body? Ah, no, para el culo, yo creo. Liver. Liver? Kidneys? Kidneys. That's... Yeah, aquí estamos. Inflammation, too. Inflammation. Oh, yeah, it makes your feet fat, no? That's what happens when I eat pickles. Pickles have a bunch of salt. So my sister is here. She loves, you know, to talk to people. And she doesn't have her guard up at all. My sister, Julia. They convinced her, so. Yeah, say hi, Julia. Hi. Hi, my name is Julia and I'm shy. Como dice Orten? Cuando my daughter said that. Here, everybody grab a chip and eat. Cheers, motherfuckers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Can I have a salt, please? Te vas a morir, que no estamos diciendo que te vas a morir. Pero, pero, mañana, no salt. You can't see it, but it's there. It's from... Tan perry. Ahí está. Mmm, 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 mmm. My sister's like, you fucking weirdo. Mmm. They're so good because they're so, they're crispy, but they're not hard. You need a towel? Mm, it's okay. Ahí está abajo. Ahí. You put lime on it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, ¿tiene una semilla? No. Do you want me to drink? I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah. My sister, she doesn't like hot food. Because she's Asian. I'm getting better. Your Mexican and side is getting better? Yeah, I could eat a bag of takis now. Ooh! <laughs> she could eat takis. That's how you know you're real Mexican when you eat takis. <laughs> That's how good in my fucking neighborhood. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. To all my bird gang, 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 gang motherfuckers. Peace and motherfucking love. Make sense. <laughs>